and welcome to a mobile app developer academy course entitled Working with Panel Stacks. I'll be presenting the steps necessary for incorporating panel stacks into your apps. You can use panel stacks to include more than a single screen of content within an individual document. On the right side of the screen, we have a panel stack with the panels. The user can swipe to see the content that is on each panel. In this document, the main body area is a panel stack with two panels. We're currently looking at the Category Sales and Profitability panel. Let's tap the selector at the top to switch to the Regional Sales Overview panel, and we can tap again to quickly switch back. In this video, you will do the following. Learn how to use MicroStrategy Web to add a panel stack to a document, Use selectors to affect the data that displays in the panel stack and incorporate dynamic text into your panel stack. Let's begin by adding a panel stack to a document in MicroStrategy Web. On the Insert menu, select Panel Stack, then drag to place it on the canvas. In the Document Structure pane, you can see that we've created a panel stack with one panel. MicroStrategy Web automatically creates the first panel for you. We need to give the components of our document descriptive names so our document structure does not get confusing later. Right-click the panel stack and select Properties and Formatting. It's good to follow naming conventions such as preceding the name of a panel stack with PS. I'm going to name this panel stack PS Revenue. Click the Add Panel icon to add panels to your panel stack. We're going to work with a panel stack with three panes. And I'm going to click the Rename icon here in order to rename the current panel. You can switch between panels by using these arrows here. I've skipped ahead and added content to each panel. Let's take a look at our panel stack on the iPad. The default behavior is for the user to be able to swipe to see all the panels in your panel stack. You could instead choose to use what is called a panel selector to enable the user to change panels by using a button bar, drop down list, link bar, and so forth. Here's what our panel stack would look like with a button bar. For this demonstration, we'll use the default option, which is swiping to change panels. We've seen how you can use a panel stack to enable the user to interact with your document to access more information and content. But another key feature of panel stacks is that they can be targeted by selectors. Let's insert a selector. We're going to call it quarter because it will be an attribute element selector for the quarter attribute. So for action type, we'll have select attribute element and the source will be quarter. Click OK. Now we'll set the selector to target our panel stack. I'll name the selector quarter and configure the selector to be based on the quarter attribute. Now I'll quickly add another selector, this time for the category attribute. I've set both selectors to target the same panel stack. You can target a panel stack with as many selectors as you like. Let's view the document on the iPad. Each graph in the panel stack updates to reflect the selector values. Any grid, graph, or widget in a panel stack will update to reflect selector values, so you don't have to target each one individually. When a selector targets a panel stack, the user's choice can affect the data displayed in grids, graphs, and widgets. You can also display textual data that reflects the user's selections. I'll add a text box here and start to type a description of the data I want to display. Then I'll add dynamic text by dragging the metric or attribute to the text box. I'm also going to add dynamic text to the third panel so we can display metric values.
Going back to the iPad, you can see how the user selections affect both the graphs and the dynamic text. We've successfully added a panel stack to a document with several panels. And our selectors affect the data that displays in the panel stacks, both in graphs and in the dynamic text. One thing to keep in mind is that it is very simple to add a panel stack inside another panel stack. Here's the example that I used at the beginning of this video. I'll quickly run through how to place a panel stack inside another panel stack in MicroStrategy Web. First, add a panel stack. Then add another panel stack inside the first panel stack. You can use your document structure pane to keep track of where all your panels and panel stacks are. Using panel stacks is a great way to add content without forcing the user to have to navigate to other documents within your app. As you continue to develop your app, consider making some of your panel stacks into information windows. Information windows are panel stacks that pop up in response to user interaction, then disappear when the user is done with them. And that's a wrap for this Moda course on working with panel stacks.